Check it out guys. The SB fishing van right there. Today's gonna be a fun day. Beautiful morning out here. I'm actually coming off my very first tournament win, but there was some crazy luck involved. So one thing needs to be done. I need to improve my skills. As a tournament angler, I've come to the Aquaquand Reservoir, very similar to the place I fished my tournament. And let me show you who I'm fishing with today. Got my boy SB Fishing TV, the king of the Aquaquand. He's gonna teach me some things about catching fish in this insane summer heat. What do you think, man? I'm hoping they're gonna bite today, but if we can get on them, we're gonna catch some big fish. Sounds good, dude. Big fish. Uh, uh, reach for that bump. You guys are probably wondering why Matt has this gigantic van. He's actually coming off a 50 state fishing tour. What did you do, Matt? So a buddy myself built this van out. Here, check it out. Welcome to MTV Clips. <laughs> this is my van. So yeah, a buddy and I built this van out and we traveled through all 48 continental states, fished in every single state, and we just got back in June. It took us 81 days. We hammered it pretty quick, actually. And then we're heading to Alaska and Hawaii in like two weeks. So. Oh, you haven't finished yet? No, I haven't finished Alaska and, <laughs> and Hawaii. Guys, make sure it's, you check yeah. out his channel. Link down below. Follow the tour. Follow the epic finale. It's almost done. While you're doing that, I'm just going to scope around here. Here, let yeah, me yeah, let yeah. you get go by ahead, here. Go ahead, go ahead. Here's where they sleep. I mean, that looks a little bit cramped, but I mean, he, they get it done. They get, he got a little TV here. He can edit his videos. Got a little bit of space. I mean, this, this thing will get the job done. I am just super impressed with how they built it. She's a beauty, dude. Thanks, she's a little messy, but I love I, it. I love of course it. a little messy. You came off a 50 state fishing tour, dude. I did, very true. That's awesome. Let's head to the reservoir. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be good. Gonna be good? I think it's gonna be good, dude. I think so too. Look at that beautiful foggy morning today. Absolutely gorgeous. What are we doing first, Matt? We are gonna run down lake, try to find some topwater fish first because the water's cooled off a little bit from all this crazy heat we've been getting. Mm -hmm. And then we're just gonna follow them deep. If they're not shallow, they're gonna be deep, but I think they might push. Oh, them. that looked like a bat. Hold on. It probably was. It probably was. Do it, do it. Hold on a second. here Matt. So we, we're starting off on this bluff wall here and actually what we're gonna do is work toward the point and then dip into this cove. So it's a little bit shallower next to super deep water and ah. I think that a lot of fish kind of stack up here in the morning because it's easy for them to push shad up into the shallow water and hopefully we can get on a top water bite. Makes sense. So. Going for top water so I'm gonna start off with this popper right here. It's my old faithful popper. It caught me many fish. Let's see if she works out for me today. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, Dude, that is actually a fish. It's a baby. Second cast. That's my, you know, like we literally just started guys. Hey, we'll take it. Calm down, bud. Please don't hook me. You want some pliers? We're good. Okay. I've never been hooked past the barb. Knock on wood. Second cast bass. Ready on them. This fish is really warm. It feels like a hot fish. I'm throwing the popper. Matt's throwing the frog. Oh wait, no, you're throwing the whopper plopper. No, it's a, uh, Frog whopper plopper. <laughs> Bring that over here. <laughs> there you go. Check that thing that is out. crazy. Yeah, actually, I think this is better for like shallow grass, but it's just what I had tied on. We'll try it around some of the shoreline it, stuff. Wish I had a regular frog, but this will, I think, will work. That was really interesting. I thought you were throwing a whopper plopper, man. It basically, it's the same thing. Like Look at that action. Soft plastic. Yeah, plopper. very interesting. Was this the same one or a different one? Same, okay, same one, gotcha. Yeah. The one that you're kind of on and off with a little bit, but now you've been on for a while? Yeah, we've been, <laughs> been pretty good for a while. Oh! Dude, get back. That was a bass, right? 100%. 100%. Bass, yeah. night, night, perfect cast. Dang, that was, a, that was actually a big one. At least a three pounder. A no doubt. Come on, come on. Yeah, up in here. yeah. Dude, that was insane. Oh! 
What the heck? You got it. I got it. Uh, yeah, I got freaking tangled. I'm casting with my non-dominant hand right now. My right hand. Oh, you're like the craziest dude! I, I've been practicing my right hand just for situations like this, because I don't want to roll cast into your face with my left hand. So now I can roll, now when I'm facing this way, Thank roll you. cast with the off the right side. There's definitely some top water action going. Yeah, on I mean they're chasing that natural bait, so we got to really work hard to trick them with our artificials. Yeah. Not easy to do. Gonna make a move, guys. There are fish biting, but we couldn't get them to bite. So we are gonna look for a more aggressive population of fish. Freak off, bird. Dude, those things are crazy. Dude, I'm trying to fish here. I'm trying to grab them. Yeah, because that beak looks a little, sh looks pretty sharp. <laughs> I would not want to grab that either. Oh, oh dang! You. What the? That's dude. Those <laughs> things are crazy. These are the most aggressive birds I've ever seen anywhere. They're literally going for the spook. I think it's time to put down the spook. We're about an hour in. One little fish landed. I'm gonna try fishing my tournament winning jig right here. Oh, oh, you got, you got hit? Oh, he took, he took your bait. He pants me. Guys, this bait has not let me down yet. Let's see if he can get me another giant. Another bite? Oh, not bad, dude. That's nice and two pounder. Yeah, probably about that. Matt's got fish number two, and he just put on. Is that the bandito bug? It is the bandito bug. <laughs> number one Guggen bait. That is my absolute number one favorite Guggen bait. Kind of looks like a crawfish yeah. creature imitation, I'd say. Exactly. Look at that a little two pounder. See you, buddy. Get him on him now. Let's do it. If it's a Texas rig bite, it's gonna be real fun. Yeah. Little flipping action. No, I'm good in the back, bro. <laughs> I felt that tap. Oh, stay down, stay down. Uh, now both flip 25 pounds. Let's go! Whoa! <laughs> Dude, that is what I'm talking about. This jig does not let me down. <laughs> That's a good looking jig, dude. Heck good. yeah. We'll wait. Do you have a scale? Uh, I do. Look at that. Barely hooked. Gotta get him in quick. The hook just pops out. <sighs> Beautiful fish right here. Are you good? Good. Yeah. I'm feel feels like almost close to three and a half. I'd say. Let's see. Can we see? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's actually a little messed up. But a little you can messed tell up. What it is. Three, five, six? Uh, yep, three point five six. Just over three and a half. Solid start. Three and a half pounder. Let's let her go. Ah, you big girl. You ready to go off? Oh. Let's go, dude. Nice. <sighs> Felt good. This is kind of strange. Look at my hand. I just released that fish and it kind of bit me right here and I'm having some kind of reaction. I mean, I don't know what that, what is it? Kind of, it itches like crazy. I mean, he didn't find me. Yeah. I mean, I just lipped him there. My hand is just going crazy. I don't I wonder what that is. Guys, let me know in the comments if you know what's going on here. Cause it's kind, kind of uncomfortable. When you're fishing, it's all about confidence. This is literally what won me the tournament a few days ago. So of course I got to throw it on a little more. If I get this snagged, I'm literally diving to the bottom to get it. I'm never losing this jig. Okay. It was natural bouldering, right? Yeah, it was natural. What, what would you say the difficulty for some? Zero, super easy? Like B zero, oh, okay. B three. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there's another one, guys. There's always fish on this Yeah. I mean, he took it right on the fall. I didn't real, even realize I had one. Is that a bigger fish? No, it's not bigger. Okay. There's no way. I think it's about a two pounder, if I had to say. But we'll take it. On the jig! Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm throwing 25 pound fluorocarbon. I have no problem flipping these. Oh, oh double up? Double up? Oh, I thought we were okay. not we you, know, you know what's interesting? What's Look that? where I hooked him. Look at this. Outside of the mouth on a jig. On a jig. Outside of the mouth. That's weird. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. That, I mean, that can't, that's got to be pretty hard to do. The inverse bite. The in, yeah, literally. Oh, well, there's another one on the jig, guys. These fish in here are well fed. You're fishing here. Look at them. Fat. Nice healthy fish. Nice Number three for the day. Matt's got us on them. This summer fishing bite. Super duper fun. What we're doing with this jig is I'm just basically dragging along the bottom. Then whenever I feel anything interesting, you know, a little rock, 
little stump, I'll pause it there, shake it a little, then hop it over. And a lot of times, these fish will nail it right after you bump it into something. A little reaction strike. We've just moved, Matt. Show us what we've got here. This is my uh, claim to fame here. It's actually like an aeration system here at the res. And it's, I don't know, half mile long bubble trail with aerators down there and like 50 feet of water. And the fish really like to hang out in there. So yeah, I see some fish around here already. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. Literally yeah. a half mile trail of bubbles. That's crazy. It goes down past the dip. <laughs> uh, what do you think we're gonna catch out of here? We're gonna catch some giant old bass, man. Uh, Maybe <laughs> some big catfish. I've got like a 40 pound blue cat. What? Yeah. Well, I'm excited, dude. Let's see what we can find. What are you throwing, Matt? Let's got take a look. Around. Scrounger head with the chartreuse blade on it. Interesting. Let me show you guys what I'm gonna throw. I'm actually gonna try throwing a little blade bait. I just wanna catch anything just to say that I caught something out of this crazy looking place. Oh, oh, I got smacked, dude. Did you just get oh yeah, I got yeah. whacked on the way down. Oh, please. One fish out of here. That'd be so cool. You'll get one. Man, look at those bubbles going all the way down. That's crazy. I, what are these bubbles for? Do you know, Matt? I have no idea what they're for, to be honest with you. I know it's some sort of like aeration system, I guess, but I don't have any clue as to why they're actually here. <laughs> I think so. I mean, I'm sure the profit's super high on it. So it's not just... Oh, on. there's number one, and we've got. What's oh, got? Wait, I got a sunfish, dude. I got a sunfish right what here. What's he doing out there? I don't know. He's get, he's getting ready to get eaten by a uh, by a ten pounder. Well, I mean, at least I hit my goal. I wanted to catch one fish out of the uh, fish. out of the bubbler. Don't spine me. <laughs> the blade bait. It'll literally catch anything, anything. I've even got people on this bait. Very sharp trebles. Time to move. All right, what's next, Captain? We'll go try another bluff wall. Another bluff wall, all right. I think bluff walls might be the move today. Yeah, I'll get my jig ready. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. One, Matt. What's that? Strike them? Yes, sir. Right, sir. Hmm. How's it going? Nice stuff. Yeah, I told him. Hey, man, I'm a big follower of yours. Thank you. Yeah, John Durbin. John Durbin. Oh, I've definitely read some of your comments yeah, yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, John Durbin, yeah. yeah. Nice to meet you. Ah. Oh, you got one? got one? Nice, dude. Oh, that's a good one. That's awesome, man. We got John D right here. I actually recognize him because he comments under that name. And he's got a nice wacky rig Senko. Beautiful fish, John. All right. Good stuff. All right. Nice Thanks, catch, guys, man. man. There she goes. Hey, good luck out here today, John. Thanks, you too. Yeah, this thing looks real nice. Got a little grass, a little wood, got the shade. All good elements for summer fishing in hot weather. Video is like a musty bait. Like oh yeah. This big. Yeah, I remember that. I, yeah. How many views do you have? You ever have a million on that? I do, yeah. That's yeah. That's, video ever go over a million. I think it's it, 1. Is that you? Oh, you broke off! What the heck? Reeling it in, dude. What? That wait, was... ha there's no toothy fish in here, right? Snakehead. Oh, snakehead. Oh. Dude, I was wait, reeling it in. What pound line do you have? Twenty. That was a snakehead. Hundred percent. That was twenty pound floral. Hundred. Like, that I would not break. Tied it too. So guys, we've got off the water. The day is. Halfway through, we're gonna jump in Matt's van right here. Let's check this out. We're about to do another challenge. Today was kind of tough. We only got four bass between the two of us. But for Matt's video, he wanted to do, what do you want to do, Matt? We're gonna do a little 1v1 like we used to back in the day, but we're gonna pick from this giant box of lures I got from Shop Carl's. <laughs> oh my gosh. Three yeah. baits out of here. Whoever catches, yeah, dude. <laughs> I have a lot of baits. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna each pick three baits. Whoever catches one fish first on each of them wins the challenge. Wins the challenge. Any fish. Stay Any fish. Bass, catfish, brim, doesn't matter. <laughs> Anything. That's gonna be epic. Guys, I'll have a link down below. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm. 